Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ali. I will give you a people a brief overview of the heart in this video presentation. Calling out the general features of the heart, as we know, heart is a hollow muscular organ which is situated in the middle mediastinum and closed within the pericardium. Pericardium is a double membrane sheath which encloses the heart. Heart is shaped like a pyramid that has fallen over and resting on its sides. It is placed obliquely behind the sternum and adjoining parts of costal cartilages. As we know, heart has four chambers. There are two atria and two ventricles. Here is the general pictorial presentation of the heart. We can clearly see in the maroon on the right side is the right atrium, while on the left side is the left auricle as mentioned and in the orange color we can see the labeled right ventricle and on the left side left ventricle in the purple color there is the pulmonary trunk leaving the left or right ventricle and we can also see in the red color the arch of aorta leaving from the upper part now we come to the surfaces of the heart the heart has following surfaces, anterior surface which is basically behind the sterna which can we, we can see from anteriorly it is also called sternocostal surface. Then is the base which formed which is also called the posterior surface which formed most of the posterior part. Then there is the inferior or diaphragmatic surface which is in touch with the diaphragm that's why it is called diaphragmatic surface. Then we have right and left pulmonary surfaces as they are with in touch with the right and left uh, lungs then we have the apex apex is directed downwards forwards and to the left it is situated in the left intercostal space almost 9 cm later to the sternum just medial to the mid clavicular line in the living subjects we can feel the pulsations that are called apex beat. In certain medical condition, it can be heaving or thrusting, for example, left ventricle hypertrophy. In this x-ray presentation, we can clearly see on the right side is the labeled right atrium and square vena cava leaving the right part of the heart and on the left side is from the upper part is labeled arch of aorta and pulmonary trunk while on the bottom we can see the apex of heart and left ventricular labeled then we come to the margins of the uh, margins and borders of the heart the upper border of heart is slightly oblique and formed by two atria and also by pulmonary trunk and arch of aorta then right border which is more or less vertical and is mostly formed by the right atrium and also from the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava entering the right atrium and then inferior border is nearly horizontal and mainly formed by right ventricle it extends from inferior vena cava to the apex it also contains a little part of the left ventricle the left border is oblique and curved and formed mainly by left ventricle and a part of left atrium also contributes it extends from the apex to the left atrium. Then there are grooves and sulci of the heart. The atria are separated from ventricles by a circular groove which is called atrioventricular or coronary sulcus. Coronary sulcus is overlapped mostly anteriorly by ascending aorta and pulmonary trunk, so it is not much visible. Then comes the interatrial groove is also faintly visible posteriorly while anteriorly it is completely hidden by aorta and pulmonary trunk. Then comes the anterior interventricular groove which separates the both right and left ventricles. It is near to the left margin of the heart. The lower end of groove separates the apex from the rest of the inferior border of heart. Then comes the posterior interventricular groove which is situated on the diaphragmatic surface or inferior surface of the heart. The two ventricular grooves meet at the inferior border near the apex. In this diagram, we can clearly see the marked or labeled coronary sulcus 
which separates a uh, right and left atrium and then on the left side there is marked anterior interventricular sulcus also visible there are anterior interventricular branch of left coronary artery and great cardiac vein then there is another picture from the posterior view there we can see the posteriorly the posterior interventricular sulcus which separates the two ventricles posteriorly and we can also see the coronary sulcus which separates the two atria <coughs> thanks for your watching this video allah